Have you ever felt unsafe walking alone to your car at a car park? Or maybe it feels as if your every move is being watched. With crime rates at an all-time high, scammers and thieves are always on the lookout for innovative ways to prowl on unsuspecting drivers. Today, we take a look at some of their top tricks and what to do if you're caught in such situations. Drive away if you find a wrapped piece of cloth on your wipers. Imagine walking to your parked car and seeing a piece of cloth wrapped around one or both of your windshield wipers. The sight would almost immediately make you stop dead in your tracks. Now that's exactly what the lurking thief is hoping you'll do. The time it'll take you to investigate the wipers is enough for them to rush up behind you for an attack. So, here's what you should do the moment you see your wrapped wipers, get into your car as quickly as possible and lock the doors. If you're already in the car before you notice the wrapped cloth, stay locked in. Start the engine and drive as fast as you can control the wheel. Only stop to investigate when you reach a busy, well-lit area. If you find a letter inside your parked car, drive towards a police officer. There are only a few things scarier than finding a letter or an envelope inside your parked car, especially when you're certain you locked all doors. Scammers know it'll pique your interest when there are no signs of a break-in. More often than not, the writer is trying to convince you that your car security is weak. They often offer a solution to help protect your vehicle. Beat them at their game by not playing along. Quickly get into your car and drive towards the nearest police officer, car, or station. Do not stop to read the letter or open the envelope. If you do not want to involve the police, dispose of the letter immediately when you're in a safer environment. Don't open your trunk if you have shopping bags with you. This may seem far-fetched, but there have been countless reports of thefts and kidnappings while trying to load shopping bags into your trunk. One good way to know if this applies to you is if you're alone at the parking lot. The amount of time it takes to load shopping bags into your trunk is enough to put you in harm's way. Besides, everyone expects you to move towards the trunk with your shopping bags, making you predictable. If you suspect anything, feel unsafe, or have a hunch that you're being followed, quickly open your car's door, shove all your shopping bags into the car with you, and drive off. You can sort and properly arrange the bags when you're in a safer area. If a suspicious stranger asks for your help to take a photograph, stay alert and walk away. There's nothing wrong in helping strangers take a photograph, we have all been in such situations. However, if your instincts tell you otherwise, trust and quickly act on it. Approaching you for a photograph puts you and the stranger in a close proximity. This gives other passers-by the impression that they're an acquaintance or a close relation. You could easily be held at gunpoint and no one will suspect a thing. When you get approached by a stranger, stay alert and back up away from the person so there's enough visible space between the two of you. Boldly and expressly deny the request and walk away as quickly as you can. Call your neighbors if your full tank car suddenly runs out of gas. If you're certain you had enough gas in your car before you left the house but suddenly ran out of gas, someone is obviously trying to keep you away and busy. At first, it may seem you're just having a bad day. However, thieves could drain your gas or puncture the tank to keep you busy with repairs and refilling while they rob your home. If you feel your car's gas or tank has been tampered with, make calls to your neighbor to keep a routine check on your home. If you are stopped by a stranger in the middle of nowhere while driving, think twice. The last thing you want is to be cast in a horror movie you didn't audition for. It's easy to get tempted to want to render assistance to a stranger who is stranded in the middle of nowhere. The situation gets riskier if it's at night. If your instincts tell you something is off with the way they're behaving, step on the gas and speed off. Even when offering assistance, keep the car engine running and your foot ready for a quick getaway. Highway thieves and kidnappers have used this trick for ages and still consider it effective. Get rid of advertising flyer, sticker, or paper on your house or apartment door. If you ever find any of these objects or any foreign item on your door, house, doorway, or driveway, do well to quickly dispose of it. As unassuming and irrelevant as these items may seem, they're often used as markers by thieves and kidnappers. They use them to monitor your movements. If a newspaper hangs on an apartment door for days, it tells them that no one is home and safe to break in. The last thing you need is to have an intruder break into your home while you're asleep. Getting rid of these items tells them off that you're home and alert. Call 911 if you're called to assist in an accident. Unless you're a medical practitioner, there's very little assistance you can provide to accident victims if you're alone. Get on your phone immediately and call 911 for assistance. 
If you've been asked to exit your vehicle and walk towards them, decline and signal to them that you're on the phone calling 911. Thieves can often stage an accident to get unsuspecting drivers down from their vehicles. You can easily be robbed or have your car stolen. You're always safer in your locked vehicle. Whatever you do, do not turn off your engine. Be on alert. If the meter on the taxi you board is broken, get off immediately. When you get into a cab, one of the first things to look out for is the meter. If you notice it is broken, quickly get off immediately before it moves. There are several unscrupulous taxi drivers who take advantage of a broken meter to charge unsuspecting passengers a higher fare. No matter the driver's explanation on why he has a faulty or broken meter, get out of the vehicle immediately. Did you call for a tow truck and one arrives too quickly? Reject and ignore the driver. Anyone can have a bad day with their cars, whether it's flat tires, engine issues, or an accident. Luckily, tow trucks are almost always a phone call away. However, if you make a call to a tow truck company for assistance and a tow truck shows up a few minutes later, do well to reject the assistance. When in doubt, call the tow truck company again to confirm details of the driver and truck plate number. Often, these wandering tow trucks, after providing assistance, would charge exorbitant fees. They would hold onto your car until every dollar is paid off. Remember, when in doubt, politely turn down their offer and wait for a reputable tow truck company to assist you. If you choose a parking spot, avoid parking between two larger vehicles. While this may come off as extreme or being paranoid, it's always better to be on the safe side. It's no rocket science that parking between two larger vehicles reduces your vehicle's visibility to others. But why should this matter? With reduced visibility, thieves can break into your car without fear of being seen or interrupted. Worse off, you can be attacked while trying to get into your car. This doesn't only apply to two larger vehicles. Avoid parking between objects that obstruct and reduce full visibility of your car. If you get a call from a bank employee, do not share your details. Getting a call from someone who claims to be an employee of your bank is an old but effective trick scammers still use. The idea is to get you to reveal personal information about yourself. Sometimes, the information they need may be something you consider insignificant. So, how do you know if the call is legit? Your bank will never require you to answer any question over the phone. When you receive such a call, drop the call and schedule a visit to your nearest bank branch. You can also call the bank's known contact to verify the information the caller was asking about. If you get weird calls from strange numbers bothering you, call the police. Getting frequent phone calls from a strange number is quite weird, right? The callers always seem to call the wrong number. Well, that's one of the ways thieves and kidnappers use to monitor your location. If you always get the calls on your home phone, then they're trying to know the time of the day you're often home. You'll realize you get these missed calls also when you're away. If the calls get too frequent and suspicious, go to the police station to make a report. If you are asked to make payment online in an unusual way, mark it as a red flag. The internet has brought a lot of convenience for users. It has also provided scammers with new ways to steal your money. When making payments online, ensure you're only paying through secure and trusted payment methods. If you're asked to pay through any other means like vouchers, gift cards, or bank transfer, that's a big red flag. Payment merchants use e-wallets or cards and provide electronic checks when you're done. If you find a water bottle on your car, go to a police station. Unless your car is a garbage bin, finding a water bottle on your parked car will likely get you to react. Thieves and traffickers understand that the basic human instincts will want to investigate and take the water bottle off. This gives them enough time to sneak up behind you and cause harm. So what should you do? Walk casually into your car and lock the doors, and drive off as fast as you can. The water bottle should fall off on its own. If it doesn't, continue driving and locate the nearest police station. Get down from the car and investigate why the bottle stayed stuck. There have been several reports on TikTok that traffickers and thieves plant trackers in a water bottle, hoping you'll take the water bottle with you in the car to find a cleaner way to dispose of it. If you ever find one in your car, do not try to analyze or investigate it. Just go to the police station. Have you ever experienced any of these scammer tricks? If yes, what did you do? Kindly share in the comments so we can update on the channel for others to learn. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like and share. And if you don't want to miss security tips like these, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you all in the next video.